Welcome back to activity portion number two. What we're going to do now, instead of just playing mostly games, we're going to use some games to learn some new skills, including an arm drag and a duck under. Uh, so we're going to start with the arm drag, but first let's play some games to learn a little bit on how to keep our opponent in front of us and also how we can get behind the score of points. So the first game we're going to play, we're going to face our opponent. We're going to reach across opposite arms, lock hands. And the goal of this game is to use your hand to attack and touch your opponent's back. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Go! Fine. Great job. As I'm trying to reach for my opponent's back, I'm always pulling, always pulling it to me as I'm, as I'm creating space, but I'm also gonna move my feet. I can't just stand still and hope to hit Breeze back. My feet are gonna move and so are Breeze. All right, so we're both moving, trying to stay facing one another, or at least I'm trying to get to that backside. She's a little scared because I'm about to go behind her. She keeps facing me. I'm pulling and moving my feet at the same time. So not doing one or the other, doing both. Let's try again. Go. Time. All right, now, I Bree pulls me in. I can't turn and look away from my opponent. I need to turn and look towards her. So as she's starting to pull me in, I wanna keep my eyes on my opponent and I wanna turn my hips to face her. She pulls, keep my eyes on my opponent, turn and face, move my feet. Always trying to face, always trying to keep my eyes on my opponent instead of looking, oh no, behind me. And letting her get to my back. You guys ready for round number? Two or three. I'm not sure which one we are. Ready for round three. Go. And keep your eyes on your opponent. There you go. Time. Great job. We're ready for game number two. If you guys have watched any old Western American films, you'll know that we can do -si do here. All right, but in this game, we're gonna go facing opposite directions, linking elbows. Again, the same idea. I'm trying to get behind Brie. I'm trying to move my feet to get all the way behind, and she's trying to move her feet to get all the way behind me. All right, you guys ready? Facing opposite directions, linking elbows, trying to get behind, ready, go. Good, you can pull. Two things here, two hints to get kind of a little bit closer. First hint, instead of just keeping my hand to myself, I'm gonna try and use my hand to attack her arm. I'm gonna go from my hand on my chest to attacking that tricep and using it to pull, not only just reaching, but pulling her through and making space. Second tip, if I go really wide with my feet, it's a big circle to, for me to get behind Brie. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and stay close. All right, so as I take that step and I'm trying to get behind, I want to be close to her. All right, you guys ready? Let's give it a try. Round two. Link elbows facing opposite directions. Go. Yeah, all the way behind. Get behind her. Get behind her. Time, great job, great job. So those skills that we learned are gonna help us when we try and do the full arm drag. So as you would imagine with an arm drag, I'm gonna drag her arm. I can get to an arm drag from a lot of different places, but for this first round, we're just gonna do uh, the Karate Kid. So I hope you've seen it at home. I'm gonna have my partner put her hand on my shoulder. All I'm gonna do is do an awkward wave. My hand's gonna come on, awkward wave. I'm using my hand motion to brush her off my shoulder. So awkward hand wave. I start from the uh, move towards the center of my body, wave, palm out, palm goes down. I'm brushing her hand off my shoulder. Second motion, my opposite arm is going to reach for her tricep. I'm going to reach through. Same thing that we did in that last game. I'm going to use my hand on the back of her tricep and I'm going to pull her through. As I do that, I'm going to take a step with my feet. Awkward wave. 
attack the tricep. My foot's already stepping. I'm gonna pull, breathe through the space between us and move my feet in a circle around her. Let's go uh, this side. Hand on the shoulder, awkward wave coming inside, palm face and breathe. Attack her tricep. My foot's gonna step, pull and breathe around. All right, in full speed, boom, trying to get to breathe. Boom, trying to get to breathe. So what I want you to do first is hand on the shoulder. We'll walk through it together. Awkward wave, palm facing my partner. I'm waving to her, what's up, Bree? Bump it off my shoulder, taking my foot, stepping to an angle. I'm not stepping just laterally, I'm stepping towards Bree, but also right outside of her foot. Brush it off. My hand is gonna reach for that tricep. Now I'm gonna pull through. Brush, step, pull, go behind my partner. You guys ready to give it a try? Let's have Brie go first, you'll do five, and then Victoria, you'll do five in a row as well. Hand on the shoulder, good. Same side, same side. Good. Nice. Hand on the shoulder, awkward wave, take your step. Drag the tricep, go behind, good. Nice. Awkward wave, take the step, pull the tricep, go behind. Good. All right, Victoria, it's your turn. Awkward wave, palm faces, breathe, pull the tricep. That's okay. So if I take my step and my foot comes in between, I'm not facing my opponent anymore. I'm actually turning my hips towards, uh, away from my opponent, so now she can start to get to that backside. So as I do it, I wanna take the same leg, same, same side as the arm she's attacking, or sorry, the same side as the post, I'm gonna take that same foot step, boom. That's what's creating the distance, turning towards Brie, going behind. It's okay. Again, you're turning your hips a little bit, which is just fine, All right? I'm gonna keep my hips towards Brie, always facing her. Even if I'm coming behind, right? I, if my feet both don't go, I can stay in front of her as long as my feet are facing Brie. The moment I turn this position, Brie is in a position to get behind me. All right, so think about keeping your hips always facing Brie as you go around her. Mm -hmm. So the reason that we're dragging our opponent is to create an angle of an attack. Drag, step. If I was to shoot, I can reach for his legs, right? If I wanted to go behind, I could move my feet all the way behind Brie and drive her to the ground. Right, so I'm forcing Brie to move, right? She can either stand up and I can shoot. She can let me behind, I can take her down. She can rise up and face the opposite direction and I can shoot to the far leg too. Makes sense? If I'm gonna shoot, I stay in front. If I'm gonna drive her down, I go behind. Same foot. It's like a dance. It's like a dance. Boom. Uh-huh. Boom, yeah. Good, now face her. Keep, see how you turned your hips at the end? Keep facing her, always facing her. Our hips are always facing Brie. Boom, yes! It's better, it's better, it's better. It's okay, try it again. It doesn't have to be pretty. All right, we're working on learning a new skill. Learning new skills are never pretty. Failure is where we learn. Always thinking about, once I'm in this deep position here, I'm almost thinking about, can my hips remain in contact with her? Yeah, there you go, there you go. Awesome. All right, so we learned an arm drag. All right, the next technique that we're gonna learn is called a duck under. As you would imagine, a duck is low to the ground, so I'm gonna change my level. Under means I'm going under my opponent, and uh, I'm gonna try and get behind him. All right, so a duck under is another setup. The first game that we're gonna play to learn about a duck under is we are gonna grab each other on our biceps, these grotesquely overdeveloped muscle biceps. Hand on the biceps. All we're gonna do is we're gonna play a game. We're just gonna move around and I'm gonna try and get behind Bree. She's gonna try and get behind me. Trying to move, she's trying to move. Whoa, look at her go. Sound good, you guys ready to play? All right, bicep to bicep, good, holding on to each other. We can move around a little bit. Remember, we're not robots. Good, try and get behind her, go. Time. 
time. Great job, great job. Getting underneath of our opponent isn't easy. So I'll give you a couple ways to get in. The first thing, if we're in this bicep tie, I'm holding onto those biceps, I want my elbows to be down because I know that Brie is trying to get underneath me. So if my arms are up to the sky and my duck's flying instead of hanging in tight, they're gonna get underneath, they're gonna go behind. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna think about our elbows are in and I'm gonna pull down on Brie's elbows. What does that make Brie wanna do? She wants to come up. So setup number one, elbows are down. I'm just changing my levels, kind of pulling on her triceps, making her feel my pressure. Boom, she starts to move Boom. and come behind. All right, you guys ready to play again? Let's try her round two. Go. Good time. So we talked about just changing our level and pulling on my opponent. This time I can take a step. I can pull, circle away, boom, going under. I can move my feet and make her think I'm trying to go to this side. She starts to square with me, boom, coming back the other way. All right, so faking one way, going another, kind of using it as a set of baiting brief to believe that I'm gonna attack her right and I go back to the left. Go. It's okay, it's okay. Wrestling's a combat sport, and like judo, taekwondo, karate, we make contact with our opponents. We learn to uh, assess a situation when an opponent or an attacker, someone is coming towards us. We evaluate that situation and think, how can I redirect that pressure? How can I redirect that attack and make it into my offense? Self-defense is more than just knowing how to attack or defend yourself. It's also about being aware of your surroundings and also having confidence in your ability to defend yourself and even be strong enough to step up to a challenge. You guys look like you already know how to do duck unders. I don't even know if I have to teach this move. All right, so for a duck under, all right, again, we start in this eighth grade dance kind of position. Hands on each other's shoulders. I'm pushing in debris. I can imagine like it's a slow dance. Again, it's always same side foot. Whichever side I'm gonna go under, whether it's my drag, whether it's my duck, right? Whatever side I'm gonna go, that same foot steps first. I always create the angle, get closer to my opponent. All right, so as I take that step, I'm gonna change my levels. My knees are gonna bend. I'm gonna try and stay close to Brie. Go behind her. The bigger I go around, the bigger circle I create, the easier it is for Brie to turn and face me, the easier it is for her to catch up and, and recover that position. So same side foot, I'm gonna change my level. I'm gonna try and get close to this toe, right? I'm just making just enough space to scrape my head underneath, the, uh, underneath her armpit. I'm gonna keep control over this arm, the bicep that I have in my opposite arm. I'm gonna step and go behind, keeping that arm the whole time. Boom, same side step, changing my level, getting nice and close to Brie. I'm keeping my ear on her back, going behind. You guys ready to give it a try? Let's go, Brie, you wanna do five and then Vic do five? I'm looking in. So if I'm going under Brie and she's really low to the ground, I might have to go to the ground to come in. If Brie's standing really tall and I want to go underneath, I might just take a baby step. And now I'm under, right? We're judging the level of our opponent and we're level changing to get underneath of whatever level they choose to wrestle at. You ready to try Vic? I think she's a duck under pro. All right, good job, good job. You guys learned the skill. It was excellent. 
All right, so now let's see if we can use that skill to play a game. So Bree and Vic, you guys are gonna start again in that nice uh, bicep tie position, holding on to each other. And I'm gonna count uh, 20 seconds on the clock and you guys are gonna try and get behind your partner using a duck under. Sound good? We ready? Ready, go. was great work, great work, great work. I saw some really good duck unders. Now, when we think about playing a game and Bree and Vic are both trying to get behind each other, we still have to be conscious of our defense. So if Bree's starting to duck under my arm, the first thing I need to keep in mind is I gave her space with my elbow. So my elbows need to be down, right? I'm thinking about always controlling that position. Elbows are down whenever we're just hand fighting, but also as she's trying to duck under me, I can't let her get behind. I need to turn and face. So as she starts to duck, Facing, facing, always facing my opponent. Thinking about elbows down. I'm not sure what you would call this. T-Rex arms, staying in good position. You guys ready to try again? Round two, ready, go. Great job, great job. 